What's up everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Doctor Strange Wave Enchantress figure from Hasbro. Alright now, here she is, and like I've said in other reviews, I don't buy tons of Marvel Legends. I generally only buy the figures that I, I really like, and Enchantress was kind of a, a toss-up for me because I don't care about the character at all. I do not care about Enchantress one bit, but this figure actually looked pretty cool, so I figured I'd grab it. She is a repaint of one of the SDCC exclusives from last year. So the figure was already out. This is just a different uh, coloration. N not a whole lot different too either. Um, my main concern was her ability to be posed because she has high heels and that's always a problem. But for the most part, it works out all right. Um, as far as her sculpt goes, I think she's pretty good. She's got a, she's got a there's a pretty good, you know, body here. The head sculpt I really like. I like the the helmet that she has on, and then I like her face sculpt, and I like the the kind of smirk that she's got because it seems to fit the character. Uh, the head sculpt is 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 all around pretty nice. Hair is is sculpted well. Uh, there is a bit of a wash in there, and then the body sculpt. It I means nothing special, um, but it suits the character well. I don't have any issues really posing it, and I think it looks I think it looks pretty good for a Marvel Legends uh, female character. So. Um, you know, I'm not too, too upset in that regard. As far as paint goes, uh, she's got molded kind of flesh tones, and then she's got the painted sleeves here, which, eh, are, they leave a little bit to be desired. I've got some paint mists there in the joint. Um, nothing too crazy. Face, though, is painted really, really well. I really like the eyes, the, the, you know, the eyebrows, the eyeshadow. Pupils are straight. Lips are painted correctly, so all around pretty good. We've got yellow on the skirt here, and the skirt is a movable piece of rubbery plastic. The uh, body piece is painted green. No real issues there. Uh, and the legs are molded black, and they have the, the kind of infinity circle type design that goes down them in a metallic type finish, same as the arms. So she looks good. I, I like the design of her. As far as articulation goes, head can go all the way around, but the hair will hinder that movement. She can look up and down a little, not tons, not a whole lot of movement there. Arms go all the way out. They can rotate just fine. Single jointed elbow, as is pretty much the norm with female characters. And then we've got a hinge and a swivel on the hands. The hands are, of course, style pose hands. They, that's all she comes with, but it fits her well, and I haven't felt the need to have anything else. Uh, legs can go all the way up. They go back just a small bit. Uh, they can go out about that far, and that's that's just a hindrance of the sculpt. It has nothing to do with this piece. It's not getting in the way, because you can move it. There is a thigh cut. There are double jointed knees, and she has a rocker and a bit of a hinge at the ankle. So in that regard, it's pretty good. I'm not, not really lacking anything here. Overall, I think her sculpt and paint job is pretty good. It kind of fits the character. I like it. Now, she comes with two accessories, or maybe one, depending on how you look at it. We've got these effect pieces, pretty standard for Legends at this point, and um, the way I've been doing them lately, at least on some figures, is to pop the, pop the hands off, slide them on to the, to the wrist, and you can get them to stay on a lot better, because that's one of my main gripes with these, is that some I just cannot get to stay on. Um, these are not the bubble type effects, Obviously, you can tell that just by looking. Uh, they're more mystical style, so they fit the character. I like that. I like the color. And, you know, they fit her hands, too. So her hands are those style pose, like, you know, she's doing some some blasts or something like that. So I, I like that I like that they fit her. They fit the color scheme of the character. I like the, the bright color on them. I like the translucent aspect to them, as usual. That's always a plus. Translucent plastic is a, is a win in most respects. So uh, as far as her... Overall, figure itself goes, I'm pretty pleased with uh, with my purchase. All right, so overall, I, I'm pretty pleased with her. I think that the sculpt is good. I like the paint apps. I, I don't care for the character, but that's kind of irrelevant in, in regards to the overall figure itself. She She's a pretty solid figure. My only real gripe is that she can be, at times, a little difficult to pose, and that's due to just the nature of the smaller footprint that she has and the fact that she has heels on. So you can work around it. As you can see, she's standing up just fine here. So it's not a huge deal, but it, it is a bit frustrating at times trying to get her into specific poses. But once you get her, uh, she generally stands up just fine. So uh, that's going to do it for this one, everyone. As always, stay tuned to Toy Bro for more reviews. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.